Good morning Trailblazers, Gerdy van Boert here, Dare Greatly Coach. Now work with women just like you, successful but unhappy in your career, sick and tired of being tired all the time and looking for a way to live your own life, to live the life the way you want to without being sick and tired all the time but being happy and successful in your career but most importantly happy in your career. So. I went hiking recently with a good friend of mine, Sashka Hanna Rappel, and um, I was reminded of something that happens well, almost every time when I take somebody into the mountains with me who isn't an experienced mountain hiker, especially when they are fit. What happens is um, they start walking as if they are walking along the, uh, the pavement at home and especially when they come from places where there are few mountains what they tend to do is take off at a good clip at a good pace and I very quickly find myself uh, looking at their backsides because they go faster than I am and I'm the one who hikes mountains all the time so what happens is they think they need to keep a pace that they are used to which is, especially when you're used to walking in flat, uh, flat country, along flat pavement, nice and even, usually a lot higher than um, you take the pace you keep when you are hiking the mountains. Now why is that? Um, usually because they're not used to going up and down. And what it took me a long time to learn and what I let people experience before I start teaching them that there's another way to hike mountains, to walk in mountains, is um, that you have to find your own pace. That it is not about going very fast, especially not in the beginning, but that it's all about finding a pace that you can maintain. Now I've found that um, I need to go what seems to be slow to um, be able to keep on going. Hi there, good morning to anyone who's watching. Uh, I found that I need to keep a slow pace to be able to keep on going for a long time to be able to maintain that pace. If I go fast, the way I would do if I was walking somewhere in the Netherlands, I die halfway up the mountain if I even get that far. So what I learned to do over time, especially when it's steep, is take a step, breathe in, take another step, breathe out. Now I can maintain that pace for something like six, seven hours without a break if I have to. And I can keep that pace for days on end. Should I be doing that? When uh, should I be going at the pace that most of the people I work with set off on at the first um, the first time they go into the mountains with me? Sorry about the light. This is a bit better. The first time they go into the mountains with me. I would die before they do probably. So I learned over time to uh, what my pace is and what I can keep for, keep on going for a long time. Now it's the same with um, making changes in your life. You look at somebody else and you think, my God, they made those changes. Look at where they are. I should be able to do that by now. I should be able, I should be in their position right now. Why are they further along than I am? And what we tend to do, and I do that sometimes too, I look at, my, look at other people who perhaps started at the same time I did, or I don't know when they started and they are further along, they are ahead of me, and I think I should be there. Why have I not achieved the same results yet? And I have to consciously remind myself of the fact that I need to go my own pace. 
that they are they, which sounds weird, but they are themselves and I am me. And they have other experiences, other talents than I have. And I have to travel my trail at my pace. It doesn't mean that you not every now and again can take a, a short sprint, but sprinting up the mountain is a surefire way of never reaching the top. Or if you do, you will find that you uh, have a hard time tomorrow when you have to continue on your trail again. So, if you're go when you're going to hike in the mountains, or when you're going to walk your own trail, to blaze your own trail in life, find the pace that suits you, set it, and keep it. It is the surest way to get to the top. Okay, that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you. Even if I've been breathing a little bit harder than I should have been. Anyways, I hope you have a great Labor Day. And uh, as always, go there greatly. Bye bye. Finish. Oh, come on. <laughs>